Hello everyone, welcome to day 13th of my Elite Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Sanchez Rodeja, I am working as a technical architect SD4 at Adobe and today I present day 681 of daily Elite Code problem. The question that we have in today is populating next right pointers in each node second. Here in this question we are given a binary tree and it has three parameters, three pointers associated with it. The first one is the obvious one left, the other one is the right one and the third one here is the next one. And the fourth one obviously is the value but what we need to do in this question is to set this next pointer appropriately. So let's walk through an example and get a good hold of the concept. Here you can see this is the binary tree that is given to you. All the next pointers of, these, of the nodes of this binary tree are null. What we need to do, we need to set these next pointers appropriately to the immediate right node that exists in that binary tree. For example, at 1 there is no immediate right node, hence it has null value. At 3 again the same reason. At 2 the immediate right one is 3, hence 2 points to 3. At 7 we have null. At 5 we have immediate right as 7, therefore it points over here. And at over here 4 next points to 5 because the immediate right is 5. So this is what we need to do. We need to appropriately set these right pointers and without further ado, let's quickly walk through the presentation and conclude the approach. I'll be walking you through this test case as well as the algorithm to go about it by the PPT. Lead code 41, populating next right pointers in each node 2. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. If you have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on telegram or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are stated in the description so looking forward to seeing your messages let's proceed ahead so i have taken a slightly different example so that you get a good hold of the concept we have the tree given to us as 10 20 30 40 50 60 and now the intent is to appropriately set the next right pointers and if you carefully observe then the question itself gives you the hint that you have to go level by level because there would be no case where a node at a particular level is getting hitched to the node at a different level. Therefore the iteration will be level by level and when you see level by level iteration which way to follow it's always the BFS way. We will do a BFS reversal to set these values up. How can we achieve this? Let's walk through the example. So let's create a queue and what is the root of the binary tree? The root of the binary tree is 10. So let's go ahead and add 10 to it. Along with this, we'll also create a variable named next right node and by default, it will be initialized to null. So it has a value null in it and uh, this is the completion of one particular level. So whenever I draw a dotted line that marks one particular level is complete. So let's continue the BFS reversal and let's pull this element out. So 10 gets pulled out. So this is gone. 10's right would point to next right element, next right node that we have created. So it will point to null. So let's update it to null. And along with this, what we are going to do, we'll simply add 10's children into the queue. So the first thing that we are going to add is the right child. So 30 gets added first. Remember. We'll be adding the right child first followed by the left one followed by 20 and this marks the completion of the other level along with this since we have we are we have completed one particular level we'll reset next right pointer back to null let's proceed ahead and the next element that we see is 30 so 30 gets pulled out 30 is gone and along with this we will be setting 30 is right to next right node which is null so it gets updated to null along with this 30 children will be added into the queue so first we'll have 60 followed by 50 and the last thing to do is to update the next right node to 30 so this gets updated to 30 let's proceed ahead next element that we see happens to be 20 20 gets pulled out and 20's next right element will point to 30 so this gets updated to something like this and this element is gone, we'll be adding its children into the queue. So 40 gets added. And along with this, since we are marking the completion of a particular level, therefore we'll be resetting the next right node back to null. So this gets updated to null. And let's contain the process. The next element that we see happens to be 60. 60 gets pulled out. 60's right will point to next right node, which is null. So this gets updated to null. 
and this element is gone it doesn't have any child so we are pretty safe there no addition will be done into the queue along with this we'll be updating the next right node to 60 so this gets updated to 60 let's continue the process the next element that we see happens to be 50 50's next will point to next right node which is 60 so 50's next will point to 60 and along with this we will not be adding anything into the queue because 50 doesn't have any child next NFR uh, will be updated to 50 so NFR gets updated to 50 and we are done with this iteration let's continue the process the next element that we see is 40 40's next will point to next right node which is 50 so this gets updated to 50 and uh, since it doesn't have any child of its own we, we are done with the iteration there is no more element into the queue and we have successfully up updated the next node for each node present in the binary tree this was the intention in sync with our expectation to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have just talked here so i'll be using the same steps and i'll follow the same template for my bfs reversal that i always do I check whether my root is null or not, if it is then I return back, otherwise I go ahead and create the queue, I add the root of the binary tree into the queue and while my queue is not empty, what do I do? I extract the size of the queue, I have created a new pointer, next right node, which is initialized to null and this will be always reset as we mark the completion of a particular level. So while size minus minus is greater than zero, I extract the topmost element from the queue and I update head dot next to the next right node that I have created. Along with this, I simply update my next right to head and in case my head dot right is not null, I add it into the queue. If my head dot left is not null, I add it into the queue. Once I'm done with this iteration, I simply return the root of my updated binary tree. So let's submit this up. It's fine, I guess. Uh, I am connected to VPN and hence you are seeing the delay, but it can't be improved further because the time complexity of this approach is order of n and the space complexity is again order of n. You are visiting each node only once and you are using Q, therefore the space complexity becomes order of n. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. Your friend, your mentor, your catalyst. Sanchez Deja signing off.